I am Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with Adventist Health Partners and CostelloWellness.com, and I wanted today to give you an argument for the existence of God. The evidence I'm going to use is the orange the piece of fruit. So before I explain what an orange has to do with God and creation, I want to talk to you about evolution. So the basic evolutionary principle, the reason why most scientists that are atheists or agnostics is they use evolution as an explanation and the proof of evolution, uh, meaning that creation can't exist. So the basic theory of evolution from a scientific principle is, is that life started in the primordial stew. So we had water sitting on the face of the earth and the water had amino acids floating around in it and amino acids are the building blocks of protein and the building blocks of DNA. So lightning strikes this pool of water and these random amino acids start to stick together because of the electrical charge of the lightning and we go from one to two to 10,000 amino acids arranged in a chain that is sufficiently long that it twists into a piece of DNA and this DNA happens to produce an amoeba, a one-celled organism. Not only would it be very difficult to explain that such a long chain of amino acids could form that would actually be functional as DNA but and form an amoeba but the amoeba has to have the ability to reproduce and make a second and third amoeba. Otherwise, the only way we could get an amoeba would be to have that 10,000 long chain of amino acids reproduce and form in another amoeba. So this amoeba forms one-celled organism that has the ability to reproduce and over time we get multiple versions of this and these one-celled organisms evolve into two and twelve and million and billion-celled organisms. Uh, keep in mind that the human DNA is about three billion base pairs long, so six billion pieces of amino acid in a very specific sequence to make up the human DNA and create a human being. It's pretty unfathomable. Over time, this primordial stew with these organisms evolved to the point where the organisms are able to crawl out onto land. So not only can they breathe in water, but they have the ability to have lungs and gills and breathe on land. The, uh, either enough of these organisms come out of the water in different pools of water to account for 10,000 different species of animals on earth or an organism comes out of the water it splits into two separate directions and one evolves over a million years to become a hippopotamus and the other one evolves to become a giraffe from the same basic starting block of amino acids in an amoeba. It's pretty unfathomable that we could go from zero organisms to multi-billion celled organisms uh, via a random assortment of amino acids or DNA. Evolution does exist in the form of God put a giraffe on the earth and maybe the giraffe had a short neck and over time the giraffes that had longer necks had a better ability to reach higher fruit in the trees and they had a tendency to survive better and they had offspring that also had longer necks and over time the giraffe's neck evolved. That evolution, that fossil record does exist. I, we don't have the fossil that shows a one-celled organism turning into a giraffe, but we have shorter neck giraffes and dinosaurs and other organisms that clearly evolved over time. This is evolution that does exist. The other argument against creation is the Big Bang Theory. So the universe started as a glob that exploded and is spreading farther and farther apart the Big Bang two billion years ago. And there's evidence watching stars and planets move that we're moving farther apart and this probably is correct. But the question is, is what happened before the Big Bang? What's outside of our universe? Are we in a snow globe that outside of our known universe is nothing? I can't believe that there's a point where nothing exists and how is that fathomable? that there's something outside of the universe, outside of the Big Bang, if it wasn't a higher power that created that. So the Big Bang may have occurred 3 billion years ago, predating us by 2.999 billion years, and we have scientific evidence of that. Uh, evolution may have evolved, dinosaurs may have been on the earth before us, and whatever happened to dinosaurs, they evolved into birds. Um, fossil records that show some evidence of that, that could exist. Is the Bible absolutely the way life is? Is it a literal interpretation of history and creation? It's probably not. It's more of a representation or um, a version of things as we ex understood those 2,000 years ago. We didn't have science 2,000 years ago. Things were written in metaphor. So most of the Bible stories can be metaphor. So I don't think we can go back and trace lineage to Adam and Eve and say that Adam and Eve cre were created or born 3,000 years ago and prior to that there was no existence. I don't think that's the case, but I am quite sure that God put 
humans on Earth in some form. They put giraffes on Earth in some form, and we did evolve. How does the orange explain this or prove this? If you think about what an orange is, an orange is a seed that drops to the ground and allows a orange tree to propagate and make another orange tree. How or why would an orange evolve such an elaborate piece of fruit that happens to be perfect for man to eat as a food source as an explanation of evolution? So we went from a one-celled organism to a tree to a tree that made a beautiful piece of fruit that's perfect for man to eat. Look at an oak tree. Oak trees do great in the nature and look at an oak seed. It's a tiny little thing that falls to the ground, it blows in the wind and it creates another oak tree. Not very elaborate, 100% effective. Look at a maple, that's a little bit more complex and a maple has a little spiral helicopter that's kind of cool, much more complex than an oak seed, very effective as well, but you can't eat a maple. Look at an elm, look at all these other trees that produce seeds and fruits. They're not elaborate. There is no evolutionary explanation why an orange would progress to the point where it has to make a such an elaborate piece of fruit as a seed when very basic seeds are doing a fine job. So evolution exists in a little bit different form, not primordial stew up to human being, but probably early man to more evolved man and short neck giraffe to long neck giraffes. Um, we were put on this earth. It could not have been a random assortment of three billion uh, pieces of amino acids to create the human existence. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.